Okay, good morning, everyone. Good to see you all back. Look at you guys. You like you guys look a week older. Some of you a little taller. Wow. You guys had a good spring break? No. No. Why not? Speaking of work, you know, I have a. A family, right, with three little kids. My wife uh, stays home, so I, I'm the only breadwinner. So I try to get a job during spring break. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, to support the family. Uh, I try, I applied to this job, but they would only pay me in vegetables. They said, "Can you believe that?" I mean, I, I declined because the salary was unacceptable. <laughs> no. The salary was unacceptable. Thank you. Hit like. Uh, so then I, I went and I, I applied for a job of, uh, and I actually tried it for a little bit, of hanging mirrors on walls. Yeah, it, it, it pays pretty good. And you know what? Hanging mirrors on walls, that's something that I can see myself doing. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's called Grant. It's called Grant. Come on. Come on. Woo! <laughs> He'd like us to scrub. All right. So. We're going to start a new unit, and it's going to be a uh, probability. And we're going to start with a game today. When you guys came in, there was a, a, a Jeopardy little song, because we're going to play a game to introduce us to probability. Now, probability, guys, it's everywhere. It's the new, it's the new big thing, because there's so much data in this world, right? Uh, data that wasn't available before. And if you can use this data to predict, then that makes you a very powerful person. If you can use the data available to us to predict things, then you can make a lot of money uh, as well. Whether it's uh, working for an insurance and you can predict like uh, well, I don't mean, uh, how many car crashes there will be, how much money you should, you should uh, charge to be able to be profitable. Uh, if you have an idea of how many accidents, how many houses will be burned. If you, if you can predict things looking at data, probability, then you, 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 there's a lot of places where you can go and make big, big money. I mean, of course, one easy way would be Vegas uh, gambling, but that's not where we're going to focus, although some people are pretty good at it and they make good money. But anyway, so today uh, we're going to start a little bit of uh, an intro on just probability. Now, you're going to be paired up, um, and I need you to pair up with the person next to you, so I need you guys sitting together. Um, let's see. We got... Can you guys uh, work together? Everyone has someone to work with then, yeah? Okay. Um, okay, well, um, let me see. Can you just pair up with them? Okay. All right. Um, if you are if you are the younger one, we'll say you're player A. So determine with your partner who's younger. Okay, we got it? Okay. So raise your hand if you're player A. I want to see. Who is player A? I need, a, I need all my players. Raise your hand. Player A. My, my young one. My young one. Who is it? Right there? Okay, raise your hand. I need to know. All right. So the, if you're the young one, you're player A. Okay? Angel, you're player A? So, in a minute, I'm going to give you two dice, and you're going to roll both dice. If, if you get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, or 12, then uh, player A, you're going to take, you win, you get a coin from uh, player B. You're going to take a coin from player B. What? Player B, raise your hand, player B. Where are my player Bs? Okay. When you roll the dice, if it lands on a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then player B, you win. And you're going to get a coin from player A. Does that make sense? Easy enough? And whoever, whoever takes the coins and, and leaves the other one without any coins, wins. Right? That's the objective, to get all the coins and leave your opponent without any coins. We good? Okay, now, just by looking at this, just by looking at it, and look at this, and look at this. Who do you think has a better chance of winning? Play. It seems like player A, yeah. Player A uh, has a great 
second chance from looking at it. Okay? So we're going to try it out and see if, in fact, that happens. Now, I'm going to put this here. When you guys play, so again, when you win a game, winning a game means, winning a game means that you leave your opponent without any coin. If that happens, then I need you to come over here, and then you, we're going to tally who's winning. So if you're player A and you won, you come over here and you put a little tally. If you're player B and you won a game, not, not just a, a toss, but a game meaning you left your opponent without any coins, you come over here and you, you mark it. And we're going to see who wins more. That's good? I still don't get it. Yeah, actually. You just roll the dice. Roll the dice. That's it. And see what you get. You're player B, right? Oh, I get it. So if it lands on this, you take a coin away from Angel. But if it lands on one of these, then Angel takes a coin away from you. And then you keep trying. So then how do you know when to mark it yourself or whatever? When you have no coins. When the other person has zero coins. When the other person has zero coins, then the person that has all the coins won. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and then you let me know who won this. Okay? Uh -huh. Alright, so here we go. Here comes the uh, dice. And uh, you can start. What? Uh, two. Two. Um, just give them two each. Two, two uh, for each pair. Each pair. Each pair gets one each. It doesn't matter who rolls them, if you guys can take turns, it doesn't matter who rolls them, okay? It doesn't matter who does the rolling. I'll switch you for the peacock, right? Alright. Yeah, you can get them. So as soon as you get them, you can start rolling, yes. We can roll both and just find out. Go ahead and eat it. Okay. 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 Okay.
expression the house always wins have you heard that in Vegas the house always wins the casino always wins this is what they do they hire mathematicians who specialize in probability to come up with games that make the person the client think that they're gonna win right they make them think like oh wow I have a great yeah I, I, I'm, I have a great chance of winning where really they don't Right, and they only find that out once they've spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in, in the game. So that's what they, the mathematicians gave him a lot of money to do, to come up with games that are fun, but also that are tricky, and that they make you think you're going to win when you actually won't. Not, now, Aaron asked a good question. Will player A ever win? Yes. And I'm surprised that no player, did, did anyone get close to winning? That was player A. Okay, so you, you got close to So, you could have won, but it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder to win. Okay? So, with that in mind, let's take a look here at... Um, so, that's why we study probability. And let's take a look at the handout, and then we, we will come back to play again, okay? So, just leave the die there. But let's take a look now at our... Stay ready. So probability. So we already played the game there. 
And uh, so where it says, after playing the game several times, who won the most? Well, we can answer now. Who won the most? Player B. Player B, of course. Okay, so player B, of course, I hear. Okay, so player B. Now, let's analyze why. Are you ready? Let's look into the uh, the why. Why is it that it was happening? So, here are, here's one dice. Here's another dice. If you roll a one and a one, you end up with a total of two. two. If you roll a one and a two, the sum is. Three. If you roll a one and a three, the sum is four. Four. And, and so on. You get the idea? Yeah. Okay. Can you fill that out for me, please? So fill that out. Like if you get a two and a one, you get a three. If you roll a two and a two, you get a four. If you roll a two and a three, you get a five. So help me fill that out, please. Go ahead and fill that out. Add a number. Check with your partner, please see if they did it correctly. Okay, did you fill it out? Good. something like this. Okay, so this tells us all the possible. When you roll it, there is, let me see, how many numbers are there total here? Six by a six, how many squares are there? 36. So when you roll a die, guys, there's 36 possible outcomes. 36, Jeff, there's 36 what? Possible outcomes. Possible outcomes, possible things that could happen, yes? And, and, and these are it. Uh, so when you flip a coin, there's only how many outcomes that could happen? Two. Two. Is it's either heads or tails, right? But in, with two dice, you roll it and you get 36 different uh, possible outcomes. Yes? Now, what is the probability of rolling a 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, or 12? Well, let, let, let's circle them. Uh, so a one, well that's not even possible, we said, right? Eh? A two? One. Let's circle it. Three? There's two of them. Four? Ten? Eleven? Twelve. Those were the ones for a uh, player, uh, what player? A. This was player A. So let's figure out the pro probability. Now I'll show you how to find the probability. So of the 36 outcomes, how many of them favored player A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do you see that? So 12 of the outcomes, so 12 out of how many? 36 outcomes favored it. Now, if I, I can do this two different ways. I can divide this by, um, I think this divides by 12. And that's 1, 12 divided by 12, 1. 
36 divided by 12? Yeah, 3. Three. So every time you roll the die, so player A, player A had a one-third chance of winning for, for each roll, for each top. One-third. Is that good? No. No, right? Less than half. Less than half. In, in fact, 12 divided by 36, if you wanted to put a decimal to it, someone with a calculator, what's 12 divided by 36? So 0 0.333, 0 0.333, or if you multiply by 100 to get percent, that's 33.3%. Guys, is that a good chance of winning 33%? No. No, you, you want to be better than 50%, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so player A had a 33% chance of winning one roll, much, much less five different rolls. All right, but now let's talk about uh, Player B. Even though I gave you less numbers, I like how Skylar put it. She said, these are more common. And now we're going to prove that, that she was right, that these were more common. What does that mean, more common? Count the one, five, six, seven, eight, and nines. Those are the ones we did not circle. So count the ones we didn't circle, please. Count them. of them um, were favor player B? 24. 24 out of 36. Now two ways I can look at this uh, fraction. I can divide by 12 again. And that gives me what? 2 over 3. So two thirds. Two thirds. Uh, every time you roll the dice, uh, yeah, player B had a two thirds chance of winning. Is that good? Yeah, let's see how good. Let, let, let's uh, divide. So if you have a calculator, what's 24 divided by 36? 0.66? No, not that number. Uh, multiply by 100, and we get uh, approximately 66.7%. Is that good? Is that a good chance of winning? I'll take that any, any day, right? It's better than 50%. So it's likely that player B is going to win. You see it? So, but do you know that right when you look at it on the board? No, right? That's when you get tricked in casino. There's a game, they show you the rule, you're like, oh, yeah, I can win very easily. Probably not. Doesn't mean you won't win, but it means you probably will, will lose more than you win. Okay? All right, so that's why they say, uh, what do they say, Ms. Carpel? If you play at the beginning and you win, like stop right there, right? And, and, and take it and, and, and take your hit. Because if you keep playing a long time, the math is gonna catch up to you and you're gonna start losing more than you're winning. So if you happen to win at the beginning, take it and, and, and leave right away. Go to the buffet or something. All right. So here's a little challenge for you guys, before we go to the back. Um, how would we change the rules of the game so that it is fair? So let's say, you know that there's, you want to come up with a game that is fair for both players, and, and that it doesn't favor one over the other. You have the, by the way, this is called the sample space. What is this called? Sample. This right here, the sample space. So how could we change it or the rules of the game so that it is fair for both players and both player A and player B have the same chance of winning. So I want you and your partner, there's many ways to do this, come up with a, a, a way, like I gave you this, but this was unfair, wasn't it? It was unfair. So I want you to fix it. I want you to write what would be a way that would be fair, and then once you come up with it, play it, and now I'll see who wins, okay? Because now it'll be a fair game. Make sense? So, All right, go. Um, go. So why will we get So you see how it's always on the side. You see how they're the combo? Oh, we divide it evenly. Yeah, so we each got a mix of a certain number. 
So like, you can get two Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So there'd be the two, right? It'd be the four. It'd be the six. It'd be the eight. It'd be the tens and the twelve. Yes, the even ones. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18 out of 36. Is that fair? Because that's 50%, which leaves the other person with also 50%. We get it? <clears throat> Is that the only way to make it fair? No. No, there's many other ways. For example, check it out. I could do, um, for example, let me just count, watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, if one player gets all these, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6s, but that's only 15 out of 36. That means I need how many more boxes? Mm -hmm. Three more boxes, right? So which one can give me three boxes here? the tens. So another game could be, okay, player A wins if you get two threes, fours, five, sixes, and tens. The other player wins if they get seven, eight, nines, elevens, and twelves. You see that? So that would be like another one. Is that the only combination? There's a bunch. The point is you're trying to get 18 and 18, and that's a fair game. We good? Okay. Uh, We'll play a little bit if, um, if we have time, but I want to get to the back. Let's take a look at the back of it. So, we'll get to play a little bit at the end, but let's take a look at this. If you roll two dice, what is the problem of rolling a, and then we have a couple questions here. Let's just, let's just do this now so we don't have to do it later. So, fill this out real quick again. Let me fill this out. Fill it up. Thank you. 
Okay, do we have it? Yeah. Just adding the numbers, right? All that the pattern? All right, so this is my now we should be able to do basic probability, ready? So, there it is, it should look like this. What is the probability of rolling a seven? Just a seven. Well, there is six sevens out of a total of how much? 36, so that would be the answer six out of 36, and I think that reduces. So, sevens, right? How many sevens do you see, Destiny? Count them. Six. On your table, six, there is six. Oh, never mind. Out of a total of 36, and that reduces to what? One out of? One out of six? Is that on the scramble answers? Oh, yes. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now, what about the probability of rolling a 10? Okay, so go ahead and uh, look it up, reduce, and then find it. Numbers less than six. Two and four. Two and four. Not six though, right? So two and four. So you gotta count how many twos and fours are there? Twos and fours. How many total? There's four out of how many? Thirty-six. Okay, so write that. Four out of thirty-six. So that's uh, what? One over, nine. one over nine. It's on the scramble answer. What about the next one? What's the probability that when you roll it, you roll an even or an odd number? So, you guys already said it 100%, but, but why? Because how many evens are there? 18. 18, and then how many odds are there? 18, so it's really, what's the fraction that we should put here? 36 out of 36. And you're correct, that gives me a 1. Good? Sorry, it looks like a point 1, but it should be a 1. Look at that one. Well, what about this one? Even or a five? Turn to your partner, please. What's the part that's going to be an even or a five? How do I compute that? What, 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 what do I do? Even or a five? Okay guys, how do I do this one? Even or a five? Diego, I heard some really good uh, input from you over there. How do I figure this out? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's um, it's just 18 plus four, so there's four fives. 
and that's 22 out of 26. Yeah. Which goes down to 11 out of 18. There it is. So even, how, guys, how many of the 36, how many are even? 18, all right? Half of them. And then that's something we're going to learn later on. The word or actually means to add. And Diego was already doing it without me telling him. Right? You add. How many fives are there? There's four. And so that gives me a total of 22 out of how many? 36. And then that reduces. Good? Pretty good. Okay, so do the same thing. How about, what's the product that's going to be an even or a 10? Even or a 10? Okay, check with your partner. Check with the scramble answers. Even or a 10? Hey, what is the 
probably one coin he has and the other one be tails. How many do you see that of the four? That one is heads and the other one is tails? Two. Two. Two out of how many? Four. Okay. There you go. Okay, then answer part D, please.